Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to use Autocomplete Text View, which is a subclass of Edit Text, and test the additional feature of showing these suggestions in a drop-down menu. When we click on a suggestion, it fills the input field with it. In this video we will take a look at a simple example that gets its suggestions from a string array, which we defined beforehand, and as usual I will put a link to the code of this example into the description box. Okay, so let's go into our activity main.xml file. We delete this text view here and change the constraint layout into a linear layout, which we give the orientation vertical and the padding of 16 dp. So there's a bit room around the edges of the screen. And in here we put our opening angle bracket autocomplete text view. We set the width to match parent and the height to wrap content. And as for normal edit text, we can give it a hint with android colon hint. And in our example, this will say select a country, because we will fill this autocomplete text view with country names. And then we have some more attributes, particularly for this autocomplete text view. We can set a threshold with android colon completion threshold. And here we can define how many characters we have to put in before a suggestion is shown. By default, this is set to two, so we have to type in two letters. And we will set this to one in our example. We can also give it a completion hint, which will be shown at the bottom of the list. And we set this to a select the country as well. Okay, now we also give our autocomplete text to an ID with Android colon ID at plus ID slash. And to keep the name short, we will call this ACTV for autocomplete text view. And now let's switch over into our main activity Java file. And as I mentioned before, we will fill these suggestions with strings from a string array. And I have prepared the string array as a private static final string array with the name countries and it contains five string with different country names that all start with A. And now into our onCreate method. First we need a reference to our autocomplete text view. So we type in autocomplete text view. We will call it add the text here equals find view by idea r.id dot and the id was aztv semicolon. And to fill this autocomplete text view with suggestions we need an adapter. And in this example, we will use an array adapter of type string and we call it adapter equals new array adapter. Here we have to pass a context for which we pass this comma and I'm going to continue in the next line. And then we have to pass a layout resource. This will be the layout for the items that are shown in the drop down list. And for this, we will choose a predefined one with Android dot R dot layout and we're going to choose simple list item one. And as the third argument, we pass our country's array constant. Now we simply have to set this adapter on our autocomplete text view, which we call edit text, edit text adapter, and we pass our adapter. This will fill our autocomplete text viewer with the suggestions from this string array. So let's test how this looks. There's our edit text field, and when we type in A, we immediately see our suggestions because we set the threshold to one. When you type in more letters, it will filter further. And down here is our completion hint. This will always be at the bottom. When we click on an item, we fill our edit text input field with it. But we can do some more customization. So let's go back into our main activity layout file. Let's put a normal text view below our autocomplete text view, opening angle bracket text view, match parent width, wrap content height. We set the text to countries. We set the text size to 20 SP and we give it a padding bottom of 16 dp and also an idea at plus id slash text underscore view underscore countries. And by default our suggestions appear directly below our input field. But let's say instead we want to have our country's text view visible and want to have our suggestions here below this country's text view. We can easily do this by setting another attribute on our autocomplete text view, Android colon, drop down anchor. And here we simply pass the ID of our text view where we want to anchor the drop down suggestions on. So we pass our add ID slash text view countries ID. And before we test this, let's add another attribute which is Android colon pop up background. And here we pass a color. For this example, we will pass our color accent. This will change the background color of the suggestions pop up. Let's test it again. Here's our country's text view, and now when you type something in, our suggestions are below this text view. 
and I added some padding to the bottom so it's not directly at the baseline of this text. And as you can see, the color of the pop-up is now our accent color. There are some more attributes available and I will put a link to the autocomplete text view documentation into the description box as well, so definitely take a look at it. Back into our main activity. Instead of putting our string array directly into our main activity, you might want to put it into a string resource instead. And I have already prepared one in the values folder, strings.xml. And here I have prepared the same string array as we have in our main activity, but as a string resource. And if you want to pass this, you have to get it from your resources. So above our adapter, we create another string array with these square brackets. We call it countries as well, but in small letters. Equals get resources dot get string array, and then we pass r dot array dot and the name of the array. And now instead of passing our country's constant, we pass our country's string array variable. This will have the same result. And this array adapter, by the way, also accepts an array list of type string as its input, so it doesn't have to be a string array. The same as we did in XML, you can also change the threshold in here with edit text dot set threshold, and then you simply pass a number like one. But we have already set this in XML, so this is redundant. And if you want to get the text out of this edit text field, then you do this the same as you would do it for normal edit text. So for example, string input equals edit text dot get text dot to string. But this doesn't make sense here in the onCreate method because we didn't type anything in yet. This is just to show you how to get the text out of it. Now instead of passing this predefined layout resource here, you can also pass your own one. Then instead of typing android.r.layout, you simply pass r.layout and then your layout name. But this layout has to be a text view and only a text view. So you set the text view directly as the root element. If you want to pass a layout here which contains more than just a text view, for example like the one I already prepared, which has a linear layout and a text view in it, then you can pass the layout as well, but in this case you also have to pass the ID of the text view. This way the array adapter knows where it has to put the text of the suggestion. So back into our main activity. So here for example we would pass our r.layout.customList item, which is the layout you just saw. But if we would run it like this, it would crash, because this is not a text view, it's a linear layout. So as I said before, we have to pass our text view ID as well, so we write comma, and as the third argument we pass r.id dot and the ID of the text view in this layout, which in this example was text view list item. If you want to have more customized drop-down suggestions that not only populate a text view, but also for example an image which shows the flag for each country, then you have to create a whole custom adapter. And I will make a video on that in the future as well. So let's test it again. And now when we type something in, we have our custom layout here, which contains a linear layout, one text view, and this line here, which is just a view with the height of 1 dp. Now this doesn't look very nice, but it's just to show you how it works. If this video was helpful, please leave a like, and if you want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.